Hey guys, what's up? Pasebona here. This is now the sixth game for this February 24, 2022 NBA game day. This is Golden State Warriors with a record of 42 wins and 17 losses, uh, visiting Portland Trail Blazers with a record of 25 and 34. The game will be at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's that's going to be 11 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, let's take a look at the Western Conference standing so that we can have a closer look on these two teams. For Golden State Warriors, they are at number two in the Western Conference. Their last 10 games, think, man, they have won six. But approaching this game, Golden State Warriors uh, are coming off back-to-back -back losses. Well, for Portland Trail Blazers, for some reason, man, they made it to the number 10 now. Um, at one point, I, I, they were like a number 14, number 13. So they are improving. For their last 10 games, though, they have only won four. But approaching this game, man, they have won four straight. So they are on a roll. Okay, so Portland Trail Blazers, uh, they would be um, having the home court advantage on this. In terms of momentum, I know this is crazy if I would say Portland has the momentum. Because uh, they only had they only had won four out of their last ten, and uh, Golden State actually won six. But man, since Golden State Warriors are on back-to-back -back losses, and since Portland Trail Blazers are on a four-game winning streak, man, I'm gonna give a slight advantage to Portland Trail Blazers in terms of momentum. In terms of fatigue, well, both teams were able to rest. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, injury list for both teams. For Portland Trail Blazers, we got Eric Bledsoe. Nurkic, um, Ingles, Luzada, Little, and Lillard all confirmed out, man. <laughs> there are a lot of people who are out for Portland Trail Blazers, and Cody Zeller is actually waived by Portland Trail Blazers. Brandon Williams is actually on day to day. And Keon Johnson, uh, the one that they got from, uh, sorry, it's so itchy, man. Hold on. Uh, all right, sorry about that. Um, and Keon Johnson is tagged as probable for this game. So let me repeat. So that's a two, four. Uh, sorry, two, four, six players out for um, Portland Trail Blazers. Zeller has been waived. Uh, Brandon Williams is on day to day, game time decision, and Keon Johnson is tagged as probable. Still, uh, a whole lot of people in the injury list for Portland Trail Blazers. Now for Golden State Warriors, um, these players are the same players who have been in the list uh, ever since All-Star break happened. I mean, even before um, All-Star break happened. So we got Iguodala, Draymond Green, and James Wiseman. So three uh, people out for Golden State Warriors. The spread on this, um, it actually opened with minus six for Golden State Warriors, but it's now at minus nine. Still, of course, with Golden State Warriors, the visiting team. Okay, what do we have here? Um, well, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this one real quick. Uh, Golden State Warriors, I think, would be the winner on this. But um, due to what has happened uh, prior to the All Star break, you know, Golden State Warriors losing back to back, Portland Trail Blazers winning four straight. And mind you, the, la the the latest win that they had, guess guess who was that up against? That was against Memphis Grizzlies, man. So those for me, those wins were not fluke. Um, I, I know talent wise, uh, Golden State Warriors would have the advantage on this man. They got Curry, they got Thompson. We don't have to explain that, but the way Portland is playing, man, it's like they're giving. They they are literally giving their all. Um, they know that um, most of their uh, stars are actually out, so whoever whoever uh, are actually put into the game, they're giving their all. Um, hold on. Um, I like what I like how Simmons has been uh, playing, um, but man, the others, you know. Um, I'm talking about Brown. I'm talking about Ellaby. I'm talking about Josh Hart. <laughs> I'm talking about Watford, man. The way they play, those are like. Um, um, Purely grit and grind, man. So I, I like how I like I like how they are right now in in the court. But I think they will be 
it will be uh, broken by Golden State Warriors' um, offense. The offense of Golden State Warriors is just too much for them to handle. But for me, I think it will be Portland Trailblazers who would be covering the spread. I think this is a bit too big for a team like this who's actually, um, again, uh, giving their all. Um, the spread, again, is minus 9. Again, I think it will be Golden State Warriors who would uh, win the game. But I think that this plus 9 for Portland Trailblazers Portland Trail Blazers will be covered by the home team. So my pick on this one would be Blazers plus 9. Portland plus 9. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.